Hey guys, it's Roman, it's Carter Jenko, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I store my rods and all my tackle. So, all the links for uh, the stuff, how I store my tackle, is going to be in the bio. So, if you guys want to help support the channel, definitely check out those links. First, we got my rod storage for all my rods that are not swim bait rods. Um, so, like under 7 foot 6. Um, I, I run all Dobbins and Shimano, and uh, this is a great solution that I found this past year. Um, the Booms Fishing Rod Rack. Um, it's got, you know, these styrofoam things. Um, pretty easy to pull out and store, um, store back in there. And then, uh, right here on the bottom, we got, you know, where you put the rods. Um, pretty simple solution. You just screw them into the wall, and it looks pretty clean. Um, I think I'm gonna be adding one, another one soon. Uh, I'm gonna be getting a couple more rods for this year. And yeah, that's my rod storage. Then come over here. Uh, we just got this pegboard for all my swim baits. So we got soft baits over here. Um, and then over here, we got all my hard baits. I don't have that many hard baits. Um, just got this Steps 250. Pretty, pretty sick little uh, bait. And then we got a little test tank down here. Um, just testing like action and stuff, you know when I'm bored. And then up here, we got uh, these rod uh, holder deals that you screw in the wall. So I can just take this, you know, this is an 867, eight foot six. It's not gonna stand um, vertically on my wall. So I just lay it across like this and put it right above the peg pegboard. Overall, it's a pretty clean look. Um, and then down here, I got uh, these bins. So we got other so like my pad daddies um flukes swim baits all other crap like that uh plastic worms so I, i'll pull this out and show you guys um right here i got them labeled so we got i think it's supposed to be sassy sticks um, and then ribbon tails mag dizzies so I do that deal for uh, pretty much all my boxes. We got line up here, swim bait box for when I'm traveling right there. And then a couple extra uh, hard bait boxes down there. And then as you can see right here, it's uh, pretty messy. We just got a bunch of ran random plastics and hard baits and stuff like that. And um, you know, this is probably one of my favorite uh, purchases. This little pegboard, you can stick these little guys in here very uh, low cost I think it's like 30 bucks total or something like that for this whole pipe board and then uh, and these little deals right here but yeah it's pretty uh pretty cool little system that I've uh, made up for my rods reels tackle swim baits everything like that if you guys want to check out any of these uh, products that I just mentioned uh, for storing your tackle definitely check the link in my bio and we'll see you guys on the next episode of the tackle box Thank <laughs> you.